David Essex joins me, and you said you weren't going to do this. I did. By public demand, though. I did. You've got to come back and do it. I mean, I thought, well, you know, that's it. I've done uh, four years ago, I did the big yeah, solo tour. Yeah, I remember, yeah. And uh, I thought, well, that, I'll, I'll hang my boots up. But uh, really, I, I did get so many requests of sure. people pleading and do that. And I thought, why not? You know? Absolutely, you love it. So I, why, why I would you not? I can walk, I can still talk. You absolutely can. And, and it, it, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's great to get to, together with the band because they're like yeah, brothers and they're, they're, they're all writers and producers in their own right. So, uh, you know, they're fantastic live musicians. So I thought, yeah, let's do it again. So I'm going to do it again. Absolutely. And quite right too. Quite <laughs> right too. So we're going to hear some new music as well as the classic hits. Yeah, it, it'd be a mixture. Uh, there's going to be a, a, an album out with, uh, with the tour called Unplayed Hits, ah. which are things that we... Uh, uh, we, we never play, and they've never been played on the radio, so right. th that's kind of interesting. Sure, sure, but as well as that, all the ones that we know so yeah. well. And uh, I wanted to... Uh, Jeff Wayne and I worked on that, yeah. and uh, I wanted to do something special, and, and we came up with Rock On. Did you think it was going to, you were going to be on stage and then well, the music sort of... No, happened? no, the thing was, uh, I, I was a musician. Yeah, of course. Initially, uh, from 14, yeah. playing drums and uh, writing bits and pieces for the band I was in. Mm. Then, uh, and starving in the back of a Bedford Dormerville with eight <laughs> other guys, hey. uh, you know, playing Sunderland one night, Bournemouth the next. So that, 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 that was kind of tough. And then Godspell happened and it was like a springboard. Sure. To, to go back to music. Right. Uh, and I, I wrote Rock On for That'll Be The Day, actually, a film. Oh, I That'll did. Be The Day was a great film. But David Putnam heard it and thought it was too weird. Is it too? Yeah, so uh, it, never, <laughs> it never, came out. never made the film. I know, but the whole kind of being a pop idol thing, though, that was that was a surprise, wasn't it? It was a bit, it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it really was, because you were posters of you still on people's bedrooms all over the country. Yeah, still got like the blue tech here. Yeah. <laughs> it must be strange. <laughs> it just must be great. It, well, well, it, it was something, I, I, yeah. you know, I, I wasn't aware of, really, when, when I did the music and all the sure. rest of it, but it just went oh, in, in, into that. And like I said, you made the, the, the movies as well. Now, we talked, I remember we talked about the fact when you wrote the book, yeah. Um, and now, and you were saying it's something that you would really have liked to have maybe developed into a film or something like that. Is that still ongoing? Is that yeah, that's, that's do? starting to happen. We uh, we did a, a short film of Faded Glory. Yeah, I remember it and, very well. uh, and the script and the development is, is going on now. Okay. So it's quite exciting. Yeah, very um, much so. Because it felt very, when you're reading it, it does feel like you can see it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's very cinematic. You can actually see these yeah, characters. Yeah, it takes place in 1953 and then goes through to 1966 in, in East London. Mm. And it's about a wayward boy that uh, has a mentor and takes up boxing, and there's lots of twists and turns. There is a lot of twists and turns. Oh, I can't wait to see that. That'll be really good. Are you going to do more of that? You should, you know. Yeah, get I mean, the time, yeah. I guess, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I get, I mean, thankfully, I get offered a lot of things. I get offered lots of shows and all the rest of it, but <coughs> I feel I've done the show thing. Right. <laughs> so, if something comes along yeah, yeah. That, that I really fancy doing, then obviously I'll do it. No, of course, because you've done the EastEnders thing. We have to, we have to confirm, because a lot of people said, are you related to Joey Essex? No, you are not. No. Because <laughs> I just took a question. No, no, no. People were like, is, is Joey Essex his wee boy? No, that's no. what I got asked today. No. Like, I think I said, I'll ask him, but I'm fairly confident it's no, not true. That's not true. <laughs> definitely not, definitely <laughs> not. Would you ever do any of these crazy shows like um, The Jungle or Strictly Come Dancing or anything like that? I bet no. you've been asked a hundred times. Yeah, I've been asked and uh, I wouldn't, no. 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 It, it, Doesn't appeal. Not the reality TV, no. Nah, I, I can't really so. see you doing that. And no. I think if you don't have to, why would you? Unless well, you want to learn to dance or you want to be a kangaroo's bottom, then why Why would you really? I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't think about doing it, no. It's like, no. I can tell. It's, like, it's not no, going to happen. No. It's not going to happen. You know, we talked about the movies and there yeah. was one role that I think, well, they'd have to, maybe, maybe if they set Greece in the East End or set Greece in, in the UK, you would have been an amazing Danny, but obviously the role went to John Travolta, but you were there or thereabouts. Look how you would have looked ah. with Olivia. Well, the, the, Wouldn't that have been good? I, I remember Olivia Newton-John wanted me for the film. And I'm I met, And I met Robert Stigwood, and uh, he obviously made the right decision because John Travolta was wonderful. 
And uh, I, I don't think I could have shimmied around like John Travolta. Oh, I don't know. You never know. Oh, I don't know. I think you probably could have. <laughs> so, Luke, when is this tour all kicking off? Well, the tour is October next, next year. Next eight, year? 18 dates. And uh, the band and I are really looking forward to yeah. it, I must say. Fantastic.